Valentino in front right here. Obviously, congratulations on re uh, regaining your flyweight title. So I guess this is something you had been working for for a long time. You thought you should have gotten that back the last time you fought. So to have that back sitting in front of you once again, what are the emotions now? Oh, I'm so happy uh, like about everything. And yeah, definitely, like I'm so happy to um, uh, return what belongs to me. And it's like one year like without the belt, it was feeling so weird. And really right now it's difficult to, pro uh, difficult to process all the emotions going through me because with all the adrenaline and like, uh, like things after the fight, what's happened, it's, I, I, I think like by tomorrow, <laughs> I would exactly answer the question. But right now in two words, I just uh, happy that everything is good. And how does this win compare to the first time you won the belt? Because that was the vacant title. This is the title that you had lost and you regained. Does this feel better to regain what you had lost? Uh, it's very like, I, I cannot say it feels better. It feels different because the first time you are becoming UFC champion, it's so like sharp feeling. It's so colorful feelings. And it's like, it's the first time. And especially my first belt, it was the, uh, uh, the belt, not the modern, so it was before. And I was like the person who uh, like, on my second, on my first defense, I, it was already new, so I was like lucky one that had like opportunity to touch both uh, belts. But this belt, what it means for me, it's definitely, it's all the story, like uh, losing the belt because my own errors that I did in the first fight, then fighting second fight, like winning the fight, receiving a draw, and like this third fight, I was like just all these five, uh, months of training camp it was so intense for me not only physically but also like mentally it's every time thinking how to become better and it's like every time I say like uh, right now in there like for the old people just for this particular fight I was uh, feeling so much energy inside me kind of like a monster energy that I just unleashed it and I went with everything like in this fight in terms of how the fight played out, you obviously was very grappling heavy, and Alexa was trying to go for submissions, but you would kind of power through them. Was this the game plan going forward? Were you surprised at like how easy you were able to take her down and control her? Uh, actually, the game plan it was several. Like we had several game plans for the how fight could go, and we work on like different situation every time. We work on different techniques, and like my uh, coach Pavel Fedotov, he was like very sharp on this moment like uh, like what I have to do or what I don't have to do but uh, the key as I am saying uh, to win the fight it's like be the bullet like um, believe in your uh, body instincts have all the weapons ready for attacking or like to use for your victory but believe uh, and let your body to choose the right tactic for the fight that guillotine that she had you in how tight was that uh, actually, it was not tight, and uh, that's why I I was not worried. Like, and when referee uh, watched at me and said, "Like, I'm good. I keep working on my position." And like after five seconds, I adjusted position, so I put my elbow uh, like uh, on her arm, so it's kind of like even was uh, less uh, tension. And how was it fighting in the sphere with you know the big screen around you, the entrances, they had the holograms of you and all that kind of stuff. So what was it like? I didn't being there? see it. <laughs> It's very like, uh, yeah, uh, I feel it's big. I feel the, is this energy of the, uh, like what is happening around. But um, I was so much focused on the fight. It was like, it was necessary to win the fight. It was not just, oh, maybe I do, maybe I know it's like 50-50. It was like, or like win the fight or die there inside of the octagon. So this is what was in my mind. And uh, I tried to uh, get out of everything that could distract me. And uh, because I feel sometimes uh, fighters who are uh, taking much attention what's happening around, they losing this connection with the fight to fight with the, your uh, opponent. And that's why I was like so focused and like tunnel vision, super tunnel vision. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see uh, in replay 
everything because I want to see what uh, I was a part of. And what do you want next for your career? Because obviously Manon weighed in as the backup. There's the possibility of the fourth fight against Alexa. But what would you like next for your career? Oh, really? I am a fighter who kind of like uh, every time, all my career was like that. I wanted to fight with the best one to actually like to be the best. You have to win the best. And this is every time was my mindset. And this is um, define me who I am. That's why I never choose my opponent and say, oh, like this one I don't go with. Like I would probably do another one like that. No, it's not me. But uh, it's very hard for me to say right now because um, I really I really want like to um, it was super intense preparation for this fight, and not only in term uh, physical, like trainings or something like that, but mental part. It's kind of like super hard as well. Every time you go in like to bed, you think and like what you have to do differently on the training, what technique you have to do, like to uh, add to your game. And now finally, first uh, night after like five six months, I can sleep and enjoy my sleep. <laughs> Valentina, you're one of the more experienced champions on the roster. You dominated the division. You lost the title. You got it back from who took it from you. Are there any things you're going to approach a bit differently or make some tweaks as a champion in your second reign? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, you know, um, right now, uh, going through the training camp, what I like for my third fight with Alexa, and uh, it was... I don't know, I just feel so different, so powerful, so strong, even uh, better than I was like few years ago. I just like this uh, strength, it's like uh, I just felt it through my veins, through like everything. And I think it, it, it's something good for a fighter because if you are not evolving, it's kind of like, okay, it's like time for retirement. But if you feel strong and powerful and continue to do uh, this hard things what you are doing but you n love it so this is kind of like what important is the rest it doesn't matter sure now how did you feel to uh, spoil the party a bit tonight for not your ufc oh it's amazing definitely with this outcome it's uh, outcome it's like it's amazing yeah definitely uh Riyadh season, Nochi UFC, uh, all the graphics of the sphere. It's the biggest event of martial arts what's ever happened before. Like, uh, it be part of that. It's, uh, it, it, it's Seba, it's everything. And uh, I hope uh, we're going to have more events like this, but I doubt it's going to happen sometimes in the near future. <laughs> and I saw you and Marab had a cool celebration in the back. How did that feel? <laughs> it's actually, this is like uh, when I go in out with um, a Song is my music is Lizginka. This is like uh, south of uh, like uh, Kafkas Mountains and Georgia. We share uh, like uh, the same uh, type. It, it's not, it's more than a dance. It's a um, like music style. It's a dance. It's a culture. It's so much in Lizginka. It's like so energizing dance. It's for the fighters, for the warriors. It's like bringing the spirit up. And that's why uh, when I uh, like saw Mirab winning the uh, fight and winning the title i said like we have to dance it to celebrate because lizginka it's like it's our dance it's our like music and dance in common valentina over here. Uh, up, uh, in the back. Uh, valentina you were on top for so long and now with the long layoff between this fight some fighters they, when they lose the belt, they say, you know what, I don't need to worry about it. I don't need the belt to feel like a champion, to be happy with my career. For yourself, how was that time? You know, obviously someone else has the belt. People have been used to you for so long. Were you able to detach the emotion or did you miss being champion? Did you miss everyone calling you number one? Of course, of course. And I think like it's, uh, uh, let's be fair, let's be true let's say truth like uh when we are uh joining the big promotions like any promotions right and what is our goal of any fighter it's like become champion to hold the belt and definitely when someone losing the belt it's kind of like okay i cannot get it back that's why i said like it's not about the belt it's about something different but let's say truth it's every time it was about the belt it's every time was to uh like um to win and be the champion if 
not, everyone would go to the fight and do whatever the fight. No, but they fight for the victory, to be the champion. So this is, uh, for me, every time was like a very important part. And definitely like seeing all the time, uh, like especially, I, I feel ESPN, they are uh, like showing, was showing so much, like even on second fight, it was a uh, second fight with Alexa. So every time showing the moment when she is winning or she doing good combination. And my combination, they just ignored. <laughs> but I won the fight, but they just ignored. And all the people had this like uh, feeling that she wins the fight. And it's like, I feel like it was a draw. And uh, I, I felt it's unfair a little bit. And now this, there is no way for them <laughs> to show these clips. It's gonna be, it's gonna do right and show the right clips now. <laughs> You've been with your manager, Jennifer, for a while now. Can you just talk about what her support has been and how she's been able to help out with your career while you continue to focus on everything that you do with your fighting in your life? Oh, you know, Jennifer, she's amazing. She's like a wonderful person. And I'm very happy that in my, uh, in my uh, team, we are all in the same mood. And in my um, fighter career, uh, I had two managers. I, uh, first, my manager was uh, Roger Allen. Then I went for a few years self-manager. And now I have Jennifer Goldstein. And like uh, all these people, it's like, uh, bringing the best of me and we are together making our like uh, uh, just using all opportunities and uh, um, like I feel so much admiration to Jennifer like what she's doing and how she's doing because uh, she's a woman she's very beautiful very talented and it's like it's very important to um, um, I don't know it's just like be on the same uh, 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 how would say mental level and feel the same things because if uh, in your team there is l no uh, unite things and uh, nothing gonna go good no matter how business wise or like whatever I feel the number one is all about relationship and uh, it's um, you have to go good with some person who you are close to that's why for example on my team my coach Pavel my family like all my corners all my training partners who are like uh, like this fight previous fight everything we are like on the same mood and i'm so happy so blessed to have them all in my life congratulations por, por, por acá eh, valentina eh, en español eh, eh, las dos preguntas la primera eh, cuéntanos de ese campamento esa preparación que tuviste en el paso eh, lo hablaste después de tu pelea que se hizo diferente para lograr esta actuación eh, frente a alexa grasso for all of everybody. Valentina, about the camp, what was different about your preparation and what things that you put in uh, to actually get this result against Alexa? Mi preparación, nosotros hemos empezado en Tiger Muay Thai, ex exactamente para esta pelea. Tiger Muay Thai en Tailandia es um, uh, gimnasio que yo represento hace ya muchos años. Y uh, mi entrenador, maestro Pavel, siempre está um, uh, como uh, mirando qué técnica usar, cómo usar y quién es, uh, nosotros, uh, uh, qué necesitamos agregar en, nuestro, en mi juego de deporte. ¿no? Y después nosotros regresamos a Las Vegas. Aquí mi uh, training partner uh, Jason Andrade, él tiene un gimnasio lo más grande de Muay Thai en Las Vegas. Aquí con training partners, con él nosotros entrenamos muy duro, trabajamos en, uh, uh, como estamos en, uh, peleando en MMA, nosotros no podemos dedicar todo tiempo solamente a patadas, a boxeo, a grappling. Nosotros tenemos que trabajar en todo. Y después, el paso. El paso, uh, ahí mi entrenador, Pavel, tiene amigo, Armando. Él tiene uh, gimnasio Zen Martial Arts. Y uh, nosotros uh, uh, estuvimos allá como cuatro o seis semanas entrenando todos los días, durísimo. Y uh, me encantó porque esto es uh, muy parecido a la clima como Las Vegas pero también es altura que muy ayuda para uh, resistencia. Y uh, también tenemos uh, uh, training partners que estaban viniendo de Ciudad Juárez, de México. Entonces, uh, con todo esto, con toda energía, con uh, técnica diferente, estuve uh, 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 teniendo esta experiencia de uh, trabajar contra cualquier 
uh, cualquier técnica, cualquier estilo de pelea. Y yo creo que esto es la clave, porque tú no puedes uh, solamente confiar en alguna técnica uh, y no saber cómo defender de uh, diferentes palancas o algo así. Y la, la segunda y última de mi parte, eh, eh, después de esta actuación, después de esta pelea que dominaste eh, en contra de Alexa, una pelea muy diferente a las otras dos anteriores, para ti, y esta es eh, una, eh, opinión, ¿no? una opinión tuya, eh, ¿habría la posibilidad de una, de una cuarta para ti? After, uh, after this fight with Alexa, sorry. third, uh, a different outcome after everything that happened, do you feel that it could be a fourth fight between the two? Um, de frente a mente, uh, creo que el público uh, les gustaría ver algo diferente, un, unas nuevas caras probablemente. Uh, como yo dije anteriormente, que estoy disponible de pelear con cualquiera, pero creo que en futuro más cercano, de frente. Uh, cuarta pelea sería muy, muy no apropiada. Just about that one. Uh, it's good to see new faces. I think it would be good to see somebody different. Maybe uh, right now, I don't think it would be the appropriate fight. As far as the camp's concerned, started with Thai Muay, uh, a Tiger Muay Thai over in Thailand. Um, that's where the most of my camp. My coach, Pavel, always looks to try to put in, put new different things, different techniques, uh, looks at everything that needs to be improved. Um, came back to Vegas, uh, trained with Jason Andrade as well. Uh, this is a team that we had trained a lot. This is the biggest uh, Muay Thai environment that you can fight. Um, but we always try to fight, uh, we try to look at different martial arts, not just Muay Thai. We always try to look at grappling, look at boxing and everything else, and then uh, go to El Paso. Um, we have a gym over there that we train as well. Uh, it's very important because of altitude. Um, it, it's a different, obviously, different environment, um, different techniques. Um, and we also have people coming from Ciudad Juarez to train with us. So we feel that all these different techniques that Pavo put in from Tiger Muay Thai to Jason Andrade to El Paso um, and hear from people from uh, Ciudad Juarez helped us um, build a, uh, a good strategy for this fight. Oh my God, what a memory. <laughs> <laughs> I even forgot about what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, Valentina, in the, in the fourth round, you got caught in a guillotine. Was that very tight or no? Uh, it was not tight. It was not even close to like submission or something like that. After uh, five seconds, I adjusted my elbow and put it like um, like against her arm, so she could not close very tight the guillotine. And I knew that after like several seconds, uh, her arm's gonna fatigue, and like um, I would escape from that. Yeah, I, I definitely it was not not the best situation, but I was not worried that it's something that uh, could happen. But definitely, I, uh, I remember in the error what I did in the first fight, and I was like, no way it's going to happen, no way. <laughs> Valentina, uh, you've always said that you enjoy dominating your division, being a long reign champion. And now that there's new challengers and, and you know, there's new, new fighters, new challenges, but does a double belt, like a, a getting the band on weight belt, interest you? Is that something that. Um, you see in the future, maybe maybe you'll end your career in the bantamweight division. Like, what's your thought process on that? I had a little delayed on collecting my rubies from the both sides. I'm back to work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>